Hello, Sparky here from SparkyUOnline.com. Hey, just a quick little video of something I ran into today. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch uh, PVC conduit going back to the panel on a residential home off a uh, 200 amp uh, single phase panel and it has uh, three circuits and two neutral neutrals in it so um, you, you in a residential panel you can use two circuits per neutral so we've got three circuits and, um, and, and two neutrals in there well when they pulled this in um, evidently they got some things screwed up in here and as you could tell they ended up using a uh, neutral wire uh, in with a hot to go out and feed everything the the kicker about it is was once I took this all apart and everything two of the other circuits weren't even used in there all the neutrals were tied together so um, besides this box being overloaded you get two 14 twos and a 14 three coming in there um, this back up in here is actually some blue tape where they actually taped off. I, I don't even know what the hell it goes to. Um, I haven't found that out yet. We'll dig into that one tomorrow. But uh, then you got a half inch conduit coming out of the bottom. Uh, going and feed another part of the room and another more Romex coming out of here. And then there's another half inch conduit back over here going out and feeding another part of the room. So they jammed all this crap into one switch box. And... Um, you could actually see right in there that when they jam the switch in there it actually um, uh, crimped the wires it's caused a lot of overheating in there so I suspect that's a little bit of melting in there but I've got to trace all these Romexes out and find out uh, which direction they go now the whole room right now is all completely on one circuit when they had intended on three circuits but this is just another um, you know, it's beyond me how they can do this kind of crap and um, put it together. The whole the whole room works fine. Uh, you can turn everything on. You can work it. Um, I didn't even bother checking on the load balance or anything. But um, this is just another one of those things I run into on a daily basis. So keep in mind when you're pulling your home runs in. One, keep your neutrals separated. Know your circuitry. Uh, where you're going to take your power to and from, and uh, don't overlook the, the the phasing on these. So thanks for watching, and uh, visit my site www.sparkyuonline.com, or visit uh, visit my blog. I'm starting to put up more on that uh, as I can. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.